beer tubers, welcome back to Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews. Tonight with the Fuzz and Sith, we're broke into uh, Heist Almighty's house and stole his kitchen and stole one of his beers. <laughs> we decided, we busted in and we brought a hooker with us. Nice! We're going to take a look at an Irish Red Hooker from Thomas Hooker in, uh, where, what was it, Connecticut, isn't it? Bloomfield, Connecticut. There's hookers in Connecticut? Uh, well, I imagine there's hookers anywhere if they're hookers in St. John. Huh. It's just whether she's got any teeth or not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Do you know the teeth, the teeth scale? The more teeth, the better the hooker? No, no, no. The no. less teeth, the better the hooker. Oh, the less teeth, the better the, the more, hooker. The more teeth, the more likely it's a cow. Ah. <laughs> There's a way to get around that, but let's not talk about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, let's talk about the beer. Let's get into a good kind of hooker. Or, well, I guess it's all a matter of your point of view. Uh, Thomas Hooker Irish Red. 12 fluid ounces. Does it say the ABV on it? Some of the American ones uh, don't. No. I think I... Oh, I know that was the other one I was looking at. Mm. I'm going to guess it's probably around five. It really doesn't say. Actually, yeah, we got a box sitting right here. Slay up there. Anyway, while we're waiting for Sith to read the box, I'm going to pop the top off of this one and take a look at a gorgeous red-headed hooker. Negatory on the, uh, I call it volume. Interesting. It looks like an Irish red. I don't see any hookers in here whatsoever. I'm disappointed. Yeah, well, whatever. Sounds it. Oh. Right on. So looking at that, I like the tan head on it. It's almost got a, like a little bit of a hazy appearance. It, yeah, it's kind of murky. Yeah, yeah. it's murky. It. Yeah. There's so a got, lot of murk to it. You got a, you got at least a one finger head. Well, yeah, but keep in mind we only poured like a third of a glass apiece. Uh, that looks nice. Um, kind of like a like a brewed tea kind of appearance. It's not so much red as it is brown. Anyway, that's mm. interesting. There's not that malt coming off of that. It smells interesting. It smells like a, a nice malty sweet beer, maybe a slight bit of a nuttiness to it. Um, very fruity. Mm. It's almost like say if you were to say that that. It looks like brewed tea. It's almost giving you the impression like it kind of smells like Arizona iced tea or so. I don't oh, go around smelling like Arizona know. iced tea. Maybe I can smell, smell a little apricot. You know what? I'm smelling a bit of my that hand soap. Yeah. <laughs> Apricots? Yeah. Yep. Smell like a little apricot, a little uh, red apple. All right. Down the hatch. Let's try it. But I can't deny that there's a little bit of a whatever. But I can't deny that there's a little bit of like an herbal tea kind of taste to it. But it's got a very nutty, earthy kind of taste to it. I could get used to this beer. I could get used to this beer. You can get used to this beer. It's not as malty sweet as I was expecting from the smell and the, the, the appearance. Mm. It's almost dry. Like it's, dry, like dry yeah. as sugar, devoid of sugar. Um, and it's also kind of dry in the sense where it dries your mouth out. Yeah, too. It, it definitely, this is one of those beers that uh, I think would taste like more. The moment I finish it, I'd probably be reaching for another because I'd be thirsty. Yeah. Isn't that what beer's supposed to do? Yeah, but um, it's also whether it's going to be satisfying at the same time. Like, what's your next beer going to be? Hey, is this be hooker is satisfying. Are you satisfied with this particular hooker? Um... Do you want to call this one right now? You want to finish? Sit down. Uh, I can call it. Yeah, I can probably do it. I'm gonna give it. Uh, oh, it's hard to say. I'm gonna give it a 3.5. I think. What do you think? Out of five? Yeah, 3.5. 3.5. Sean, see? Or Sif? I'm not drunk yet, so we're. I uh, I personally kind of like it. I'm gonna I'm gonna go slightly higher. I'm gonna go to three and uh, three quarters. Three and three quarters. All power to you. Yeah. Um, I've had better reds, I think. I really like that Strong Patrick better than this, but... You know what? That's a really nice, easy drinking, nice, yeah. decent beer. Like I said, you drink I can get of used to it, yeah. Yeah, you could go through quite a few of these. It's also relatively mild, too. With a, a big, earthy note to it. Mm. The only reason why I didn't go 3.75 or 4 is that little tang in the, in the end. Mm. Yeah, well, that's just you, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, you saw it here at uh, Maxwell Stairs Beer Reviews. Thanks for Heist Almighty from lo for loaning us his apartment or house to do it. 
Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. you know, Max will start beer review in the uh, we the never heist. do joint reviews over my place. No, of course, it's too small. Yes, that's yeah. true. But I mean, here's here's the thing: it's a joint review without ice. Yeah. You feeling alright? Yeah. We should just here, stop, stop it. Stop recording. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah.